Hi there, this is Marissa from digitalscrapbook.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick page in Photoshop Elements. If you like this kind of tutorial, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that I know that you like it. All right, so I have here the home screen for Adobe Photoshop Elements open and I'm going to come here and choose the photo editor and that is just loading here. It's going to take a minute. Right here it is. I'm going to bring it here so you can see it. Okay, and you will see here that there's these different tabs up here. I'm going to go ahead and use the expert mode. And then also I have already downloaded my quick page. Here I have brought it up in Chrome. So you can see here it's available in two options, PNG and PSD, and I am going to hopefully show you how to use both of these today. I'm going to go ahead and start with the PNG, which I have here. Here's my folder. And it's here, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this in and hope that that works. I think it's going to take it a minute. All right, so it has dragged it in here, and it's just zoomed in quite large. So I'm just going to hit Z, and I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so we can see what's happening. Okay, and now, so I've got my Layers panel here. If that's not showing for you, you just come up here to Window, and then Layers. So these are quite important here. We're going to need these because now we're going to bring in our photos. So I have three photos, and I'm just going to bring them in here. Okay, and they've for some reason opened in a different... All right, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to open this photo bin down here. So this shows everything that's currently open in Photoshop Elements, and I'm going to try to drag this in like this. All right, so there it's there. You can see now this looks kind of funny. I'm going to drag one more, and here is number three. All right, so now we can come back here. And with my move tool here, I'm going to, I want to select this one and just with control T, I'm just going to shrink it down so it's the same size as these other ones. And then say good job. And then let's see here, edit. If you want to find the, uh, let's see here. So transform, we have free transform right here. If you're looking for it, you don't want to use the shortcut. It's image transform. Free transform, but first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select all of these. And now we'll do control T again. And I'm just going to shrink them down so they're about the size of this hole here. Give it a little bit more. Okay. All right, and then hit enter so it saves that. All right, so currently these are on top of the quick page and I want them to be below. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this second one out. Let's see, where is it? All right, there we go. So I'm actually going to use this tool down here. Oh, there's the move tool. This is the hand tool. So we're going to use here the move tool. And I've got this one over here. And then control T, rotate that one a little bit. And then this one down here, I'm actually holding down the control button which is what will let me move this out like that. So if you're, if it's changing what layer you have selected, try holding down control T. All right. So now you can see I have moved these. So they're all in their spots. And just one thing I want to mention here, because these two photos overlap, um, whichever one is on top, you can see if I move this over here, you're going to see it in that frame. So you just have to make sure you get the, rotation right so it's not peeking out into one of the other photos. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close all of these. You can you can of course save these um, as whatever format you like for going forward. All right. You know what? I guess I'll just leave these photos in here and we're going to see what happens now. I'm going to try to use the PSD which I have here. And we're going to just drag it in. All right. And then bring down the zoom. All right. So you can see here, I've brought this one in. And this one already has lots of layers included so that you can um, just move stuff around as you like. You know, you can remove, you can delete, you can move stuff. So that's pretty nice. 
Um, so what I want here are these photos. And then let's come back over here to the photo bin. And we're going to bring in, we've got one, two, three again. Okay. Then this one, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to, this is a very similar process. So I'm just going to shrink this one down so it's the same size. And then I'm actually going to drag these up here on top of the photos. And then Control T, I'm going to shrink them down one more time. All right, so we have this picture on top. And I want this to be over here on the middle one, which is this one. So I'm going to take this here. And then I'm going to right click and say Create Clipping Mask. And now we've got this one. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And then we will see. So that one. Oh, there we go. So I have to make sure it's actually over the layer that I clipped it to. And I will go ahead and create this one. And we'll move that over. Control T again will let me rotate it a little bit. And then this one is not quite in the right spot. So I'm going to bring it over here. And then rotate it again. Make sure it's good. All right, so this one, because I'm using the clipping mask, I don't have to worry about it encroaching in a different frame. So that makes it a little nicer. And then also, of course, I have the ability here to move any of these things around or add in whatever I want. So there's a lot more versatility here with the uh, using the PSD version. I hope that was a helpful tutorial for you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And have a great day.